A police shooting in Highland Park and the slow process to find justice at Fort Hood. Some of the things people called to talk about this week. Plus, there's apparently a cricket crush in Kaufman. We start with the search for the man who murdered an 83-year-old woman in Arlington. Here is your viewer's voice. A carjacker attacked and killed an 83-year-old woman who was going out to buy donuts this week. The ME says Leona Swafford was beaten, suffocated, and shot in the back of the head. I hope they find that sorry piece of crap, and I hope someone takes him out. He doesn't even deserve a trial. Police came up with this composite drawing of the killer because a neighbor tried to save her and fought with him, but he got away. If that, if that person had a handgun that was trying to save her and could shot that guy, that, that saved her life. A lot of people mad about what they see as slow justice three and a half years after the Fort Hood massacre. I am very angry as a citizen of the United States of America. Major Nadal Hassan now representing himself and has asked for more time. What is there to prepare? He brutally murdered 13 people, and here we're handling him with kid gloves. His planned defense is that he killed to protect Taliban members. And I knew he was going to pull a stunt like that. He'll pull something else. Highland Park police shot and killed a suspect who they say was handcuffed and searched, but who they say ended up out of handcuffs with a gun firing a shot. That's what I call good police work. Handcuff a man, put him in a squad car with a gun on him. Give him a raise. Some witnesses say he was still in cuffs. Some say he wasn't. But solid sources say officers shot him in the back. And then the shoot him in the back? What's wrong with that picture? If you shoot at the police, expect to be shot a shot at. If you're shooting at the police, expect to be shot or shot at. Highland Park Police have cut off all communication on this one. Once again, the police department doesn't talk after they shoot somebody. They must not have done their job very good. That's a reference to Fort Worth Police shooting and killing a homeowner in his own garage. Both police chiefs, Highland Parks and Fort Worth, have essentially been invisible. Time is passing and no action has been taken. Fort Worth police needs to open their doors up and let's get this thing resolved and find out what happened. A drunk driver who killed an off-duty police officer pleaded guilty. During victim impact statements, the victim's father and wife tore into the killer. You are a worthless human being. I am so glad that I did not hear, oh, we forgive you, that God forgives you, we all forgive you for what you did. Screw that. Fox 4 News starts now. We are Fox 4 News. Nightly news begins now. This is Brian Williams, NBC News. I want to speak to Brian Williams. This is the number I have for him. Really? This is the number you have for him? Um, if you could please tell him to contact me, I surely would appreciate it. I'll see what I can do, which will be nothing. Crickets and coffin mean 70s TV time. The grasshoppers are just taking over. Arise calmly, grasshopper. They can be brutal. Uh, what is the cause of your anger? God, I'm drowning in grasshoppers. Experts say they hide out in long grass and are attracted to bright lights. Try to get rid of both. <laughs> Finally, is the whole Heather short skirt unnecessary blurred shot a scam of sorts? Why you got Steve Eager interviewing other people rather than Heather Hayes? This guy says no justice, no peace. That's ball, man. I mean, Heather Hayes has rights. If you're for America like Tom, call The Voice. Or send an email from the website myfoxdfw.com.